Hey, Luke Inman back again in the eDraft.com studios today, getting you caught up on one of the biggest boomer bust prospects in the entire NFL draft, talking about Washington Husky cornerback Marcus Peters. Listen, he's got the physical tools, football awareness, and coverage ability to not just be a first-round pick, but to be a Pro Bowl caliber player. However, while his play on the field speaks for itself, it's his giant red flags off the field stemming from a physical altercation with his coach that now is Peters pegged as one of the biggest mysteries in this class as to just how high or just how far he could fall on draft day. Let's jump to the tape. I'll show you why Marcus Peters has the foundation in place to become one of the next best young press cover cornerbacks. Well, if we're being honest, out of all the prospects I've broken down during this video series, no one comes close to matching the energy, competitiveness, and just football intensity like Marcus Peters does. Peters carries that with him on nearly every play with his physical in-your-face brand of coverage, which, at times, can work against him. Here, though, starting with his technique and style and coverage, you see Peters has a wonderful sense of confidence when lined up in press, man-to-man -man coverage, which is vital when playing in an aggressive defensive scheme. At the line of scrimmage, Peters uses his size and length to gather the proper body position against opposing wideouts. From there, Peters uses his speed and proper feet technique to stay tight and compact with his opponent giving them almost zero wiggle room to work their way out of on an inside route. Flip the script, and when defending outside routes, Peters does an excellent job of using the sideline as his friend, pinching receivers between him and the out of bounds. Put it all together, there's not much room for error when faced with the tall task of lining up across a guy who's so good in so many different ways. Now, while I would use him primarily as a press cornerback, Peters has shown great versatility when asked to drop back and off coverage, where he shows excellent read and react skills exploding to the ball. From there, Peters understands how important timing the ball is, getting to his opponent not too early and not too late, and finishing the playoff with a great use of his hands to knock the ball away. Now how about defending the run? You better believe Peters carries the same physicality with him in the ground game as a guy who will stick his nose in the pile and shows the speed to chase down and close in on the ball carrier. Sure, there were times I saw on tape Peters be too aggressive and take himself out of the run play altogether, and I did want to see more effort when he was asked to take on and shed blocks, but as you can see, and I think you'll agree, I'll take the good with the bad as Peters has a great understanding and awareness how and when to knife to the ball carrier and is as equally effective igniting his team with a spark of energy in the running game with his big hitting ability that sends a message to the opposing team.
If you want to be the best, you got to beat the best, which is why one of my favorite things to do when breaking down tape is watching top competition against opposing top competition, as it can be a great indicator of where each prospect wins and where they could struggle at the next level. Marcus Peters isn't perfect, and as you can see here, his lack of top-end straight-line speed against projected day two pick and Stanford receiver Ty Montgomery gets the best of him for a deep touchdown as he's unable to jam and reroute him on the sideline. Another beneficial game to break down was the 2013 game against Oregon State where Peters lined up against last year's first round pick, Brandon Cooks. Cooks had a monster game catching 10 passes for 117 yards and a touchdown. And while not all of those targets were on Peters, he did struggle with the shifty explosiveness that the smaller frame Cooks had to offer. For the most part though, Peters did a good job of keeping Cooks in front of him, batting down numerous passes while intercepting not one, but two passes by the end of the night. Well, the case could be made for Peters being a top 10 prospect and the number one cornerback in this year's class with his solid size for the position, proper technique, and most effective, his ability to get physical as a press corner. Peters also showed the versatility in off coverage and in his own scheme, giving teams the ability to use him in a variety of ways, but out of it all, Nothing might be more impressive than his natural confidence and tough-minded passion in which he plays the game with his heart on his sleeve. The only real thing holding Marcus Peters back from reaching his full potential is his maturity questions and character concerns both on and, more importantly, off the field. The pre-draft process will be the difference maker in where he gets drafted, but it's his own decision making that will be the key to just how good Marcus Peters will be in the NFL. Stay tuned for more prospect profile breakdowns brought to you by eDraft.com.